Okay, Coach Trescaro, we have Miles Martin. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, Joey McKenna here at Kenston High School. Yep. How good is this? You guys got 50-plus kids. You got a great turnout. First thing, it was in August. Right. Then they had to reschedule what's going on. Why, why this September? Right. So uh, I got a message from uh, Miles that week and Anthony Ralph that they had a team meeting that Sunday. So Tom Ryan called that team meeting, and uh, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do, but uh, we uh, just looked at some other dates. These guys really wanted to get up here, and uh, we wanted them up here. So uh, we just found another date, and I think we only had a couple cancellations after that. Everyone everyone got on board. We got more, uh, even more campers out than we were going to have the first time around, so it actually worked out for us. So. You know, you look at this, um, kid, getting kids active out of season is hard to do sometimes. Right. You, know, you are in Northeast Ohio, that one of the hotbeds, you know, the five real big hotbeds of wrestling. But right. um, out of season wrestling, how good is it and, and how important is it for your guys' program? It's it's super important. I mean, for our program, I mean, Ricky and I came in here, and, and granted, you know, Ricky can't be here today. He's on vacation. But uh, we, we came in here and we wanted to change the culture. And this is one of the things we wanted to do is bring guys in like Miles and Joey you know, in the off season to teach our kids and not just our kids, but all, all area wrestlers, because it's important to us that, uh, you know, these types of kids have these guys to learn from. I mean, these guys are the two of best in college wrestling right now. I mean, they both can win it all next year. And, and to me, it's such, it's awesome to see there. It's awesome. Joey was out there wrestling with these guys, you know, and, and, and Miles is out there teaching, teaching the youth and, and how much passion and energy they show. Uh, it's truly amazing to me. No, you know, you're a business guy. Right. You, know, you and Ricky are, are both, you're home, homegrown, right? You guys right, are Bainbridge, yeah. uh, Kempson, Auburn guys, right? Yeah, you're yeah. a Kempston alum, but you now what's it like coming back and being able to give back to the program that, that gave so much to you guys? It's awesome, man. You know, I tell Ricky all the time, I'm glad he hired me. Uh, he's a technician, you know, and I'm kind of like the, uh, I actually watch a lot of your interviews with Tom Ryan and I learn a lot from him. I'm kind of that, I'm kind of that kind of coach where I get the kids involved. Um, I'm very hands-on with them as far as not just the wrestling room, but all, outside the wrestling room, life in general, uh, you know, team bonding, stuff like that. So it's been great to give back because, you know, we were here for so long and we did, we had some great teams. We had some of the best teams that ever, ever went through this school. So to try to get back to, we're trying to get back to that here at Kenston. It's been a struggle, but you know, we're climbing the ladder here and by doing something like this camp. Uh, it just shows these kids, you know, what wrestling meant to us at Kenston and, and what it used to be until we could get back to that, you know, prominence. All right. You are a rabid Browns fan. I am, yeah. And you also get to, you get to go to training camp. I did. And you get paid to go to training camp. I did, yes. Okay. Tell me about running a business and being a wrestling coach. You know, Coach Varney, he runs a business. He's right. a wrestling coach. Right. Um, you, you know, doing that a lot. Tom Manning ran a business. He's right. a wrestling coach. Um, when you look at that, what's that like running a business and balancing with the wrestling season? Right, yeah. So I own a food truck. So it's it actually works perfectly because my food truck season goes probably from April to October every year. So as soon as October ends, it's wrestling season. So for me, that's great. I'm opening up a store uh, for my food truck. But, you know, it'll be a little bit slower in the wintertime. So uh, I'll have, you know, I'll still be here doing wrestling and everything. But, you know, business and, and coaching a team, uh, I learn a lot. Uh, from both sides of it and how I can take what I learned doing, you know, types of business stuff, how I can bring that, you know, into the wrestling program. And one thing I did this past season with the Auditorium Duel is is really create an event here for that these kids that are on our team, we actually ended up getting a kid that came out for wrestling in January, a uh, senior here, that ended up making it to districts uh, because he saw our kids wrestling on the auditorium here at the school. So I'm bringing... Uh, concepts and my enthusiasm and energy from my business and incorporating some of that stuff into the wrestling program here to put on bigger events you know to really showcase these kids in a different way that maybe they haven't been showcased in you know ever really for that matter here before so the format was awesome the youth kids wrestled for I was at that right I don't know if you know that. I was at that no I didn't know the youth kids were were first then you had JV with middle school I think no we, youth, yeah, we had youth, youth and then then, then uh, JV, JV then yeah. varsity I like that the yeah. format was great we had a great there was a great crowd right um, of course I got like wore out chasing my kid around but like <laughs> that was a great you know making things events that's a big thing that they do now you know Miles told me Ohio State's going to Maryland to McDonough Right. To his high school. Yeah. You know, Ohio State's always done that with, I know they've had at Oak Harbor where I'm from. They've Correct. had dual meets there. Right. Um, but, you know, making, making, and business. Let's just talk about business, right. right? Making an event out of it and making it important to kids. That's, that's a big thing. But business, is there any secret to business? Can you outwork everybody in the food truck industry? Can you, can you do it? 
Can you outwork everybody? Can you just get more food trucks and just out hustle people? Do you think it's possible? It's possible. Yeah, I mean, it's always possible. Uh, what I've learned actually the most this year, it's a great question you just asked me because I've been going through it physically and mentally right now because how challenging and taxing owning a business can be no matter what it is. And I used to be in construction for 11 years doing asphalt. So you would think that might be harder than what I do now, making smoothies and selling smoothies and all that. But truly owning a business day to day, uh, what I say now is you can work super hard. You can put all your energy and enthusiasm into it. But at the same time, you do have to take care of yourself. And I think that's one thing I did learn this year more than any year because we've been so busy in our business that sometimes you kind of neglect your own self. And I think that in business and in life and in wrestling and anything for that matter, you do have to sometimes step back and, and really truly take care of your body and your mind. Because if you don't, you can't put all your effort into those things. So I've been struggling a little bit. Um, I'm a very open person. I like speaking my mind and, and all my trials and tribulations with things in my life. And I think that's one thing I've learned this year. Yeah, I cannot work a lot of people. I think we're, my girlfriend and I, we've created an awesome business. And I think we're the best there is out there because we work so hard. But at the end of the day, I think uh, in order to keep working hard and progressing, we do have to take a step back sometimes and just appreciate what we've done. And also, you know, take a rest and breather sometimes to uh, keep excelling forward. What do you want kids to take from these guys today? Miles Martin, Joey McKenna, two of the best college wrestlers out there, pond for pond. What do you want the kids to take from that, this today? Oh, geez, these, these, what these kids have in front of them today, I mean, it's <laughs> something I never had when I was here. And we had state champ camps and all, but I guess the main thing I want them to take out of today is that, you know, <laughs> these guys are the best at what they do right now in college wrestling. And I just want these kids to understand that, you know, it takes to get to that level, whether it's, whether, you know, a lot of these kids aren't going to see the college mat. So in order to bridge that gap, you know, to answer your question is, you know, these guys at their craft are all the way up here, but I want them to understand and learn that just because these guys out here that are wrestling today, they might not all be there in wrestling. They can be there in somewhere else. So what I want to take from watching these guys, not only today, but on the mat, you know, during their season and at nationals is that, hey, these guys are putting in the work, the time, the energy to come up here during, you know, the preseason for them uh, to just just to see their work ethic and to, to use that work ethic to whatever these kids are going to end up doing in their life. Because we all know in the sport of wrestling, it's a very small percentage that make it to that to that top. So I, I know we always say it, but it, that wrestling teaches the most out of any sport. So I want these guys to take you know, everything that these guys have put into the sport, put it into what they're going to do next if it isn't wrestling. I Asphalt, think, food truck, yeah, lawyer, brother, your brother's a lawyer, yeah, right? right? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, right. you, you it guys are putting correlates. it into... It, yeah, it all correlates. It's, it's, we all learn things growing up here. Garage in doors, right, garage rental doors. properties. It doesn't right? matter what it is. It yeah. all stems from what we learned when we were in the youth, K through, K through 6, like we have today, then into high school and college and so on you know, what you took from wrestling and, and stuff and built, you know, what you, you end up doing, build your work. So, um, yeah, it's been awesome, man.